Is Janie and Cameron still together? Janie, this is all you. Does Bridger have a girlfriend? Bridger! What is one piece of advice you would give someone who isn't confident? Chase, I'm gonna have you answer this one. Cause Chase is the most confident person I know. How long did it take Bridger to get used to the family when he is adopted and how was his reaction? Bridger? Holy cow. Look at the bat story. Hey guys, welcome back to Kennedy K. Today I am driving with Chase and Bridger and Janie. And we decided that we are going to do a Q&A while driving home. So I have a few questions that you guys have asked and I will ask the entire car and we will get dirty details and juicy comments and all of the above. So before we get going, make sure that you subscribe down below, give this video a big thumbs up, follow me on all my social medias. All right, let's get going. The first question is from Martha Karuki 12 and it said what was y'all's first impression of Chase so Chase you, you were disqualified from this question my first impression I thought that he was going to be a little bit of a, a boy that would break girls hearts break girls hearts yeah but I thought you were gonna you I felt like you were a boy that would break girls hearts well, mine was it's because you were cute. I was, Wait, I'm well, mine was the contrary. I thought he was a wimp because Kennedy, I knew she liked him and he knew he liked her, but he wouldn't do anything about it. Oh, the wimp! I like that. Jay, or uh, Bridger, what do you think? Uh, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, uh. Was he not impressionable? What? what? You're saying that he's not impressionable? Impressionable? Impressionable. impressionable. I know what that is saying. such a, I, I know, like we, I know so... what we're, you're saying. It's just like the way it was worded. I would just say the first time I met him, I, 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 can't I met him in California. I don't, I don't even know. I didn't even think about what's this dude like. When did you get California? Florida. Oh, Florida. Yeah, so I just, that was it. So, oh, this sounds crazy right here. I'm guessing Chase wasn't impressionable for Bridger. He just remembers yeah. you met him in California, aka Florida. Funny. He did do push-ups. That was funny. Next one. This is from Emily's uh, 500 or 5005, and it says, "Is Janie and Cameron still together?" Janie, this is all you. Yes. Yes. Sadly. He's still on a mission. He's doing good, right, Jean? Yeah. And they are still together. Janie's cried daily because of the long distance. She's not. Yeah, I cried. At I was gonna say. And I'm just gonna them. say, Janie is a loyal girl. Next question. This is Lily Ashcraft Reels. And it says, how well do you guys really get along? So, for me at least, I think Chase and I get along pretty well. Uh, That's why we decided to get married. Is this with or without Cassidy involved? Okay. No, this is without Cassidy. Oh my. Chase and Cass are a funny little, they're funny nuggets. Anyway. Complete opposites. Complete opposites. There we are, complete opposites. I would say for at least me, I get along pretty much with everyone. Janie and I are like basically the same person. We don't. Bridger and I. Not. We've gotten better. Yeah. Bridger and I got into arguments, but we chill. I'm the black sheep. He's not the black sheep. Do you, you notice how Kennedy said me and Janie, but then she didn't say, she just because says me and Bridger chill. It's because I like. <laughs> no, Janie, Janie I and I are like almost the same person. Yeah. I don't I know. I just, I'm Kennedy's clone. I just, I don't know. What's that being called? Doppelganger. Doppelganger. I want to be Kennedy. She wants to be me. She's my fangirl. All right, Chase. Do you feel like you get along with everyone? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> actually, let's just say that Chase and Janie fight all the time. I don't know. They fight all the time. Just kidding. Okay, Bridger. It's like Janie. This lighting is kind of harsh, but it's fine. You can't keep crying about Cam, and I'm like, I have to cry. <laughs> Janie needs to leave her boyfriend what? for one of my friends. But we love Cam, so. But Chase secretly does want. He wants Janie. You all know Hunter. If you don't, then you haven't watched enough videos. But Chase and Hunter are like best friends, and he does secretly want Janie to marry Hunter. Bridger, do you feel like you get along? Oh, uh, I think Janie and Bridger are getting an argument right now, so maybe they no, don't get along. Kind of understood, but never mind. Oh, all right, Bridger. How do you feel like you get along with people? I say because I'm the favorite, I get along with everyone pretty well. Okay. Never have a problem. Perfect job Actually, right here. for, in my opinion, Bridger and Chase I get along ask, really well. Oh, 
Oh. That was nice. I know it was. I was expecting you to say something rude. <laughs> that just shows where our relationship is at. See, I, I was going to be something nice. rude. Okay, well. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Next question. This one's from Gabriella Zinder. Yeah, Zindler. Here, I don't know if I want to answer it. <laughs> oh, I didn't even read the question. No. Bridger just saw it. And it says, does Bridger have a girlfriend? Bridger! Does Bridger have a girlfriend? I don't know. Let's ask, let's ask the card. Let's start with Chase. Chase, does Bridger have a girlfriend? Well, I think he's got a few. I think he's got a few. All he right. a few? few. I like that answer. I like that. Jenny, what do you think? What's your thoughts? You can't pull a girl. Oh! It's like the exact opposite. You can see right now that Jamie and Bridger do not get along. Oh. That was a joke. It's definitely oh, a joke. What's, what's your we all you know think? about. I know you're dating Ryan. What? If, I know you're dating secretly Ryan, my friend. I saw you on a date. Remember? Okay, just kidding. We're just kidding. Oh. I wish they would. Okay, date. Bridger. Guys, every one of are them you is right. Belt? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. I just pulled it up for. Her. Okay. Every single one of them is right. I don't have a girlfriend. He's not have a girlfriend, no, but that no, can change. What's her name? What's her name? Ryan. Her name is, her name is no, Regina. No, girl, the girl her that. Her name is, her name, no, the, the girl that asked the question. Bianca. Oh, oh. Um. So Gabriella. No, Gabriella. <laughs> so Bridger Gabriella. is available. Well, like, look at that. Like Gabri, like Gabriella from High School Musical. Is that where that's from? No, it's her name. That's so sweet. Anyway, Bridger is available. So. Just DM me and I will give you his number. Uh, make sure you're uh, 18. All the Gabriellas are going to be <laughs> Okay. Yeah, as long as you're 18. Um, next. The next one is from Afton Leanna and it, oh, Leanna 13. And it says, How do you deal with personal space when you have so many siblings? Janie, I'm going to give this one to you first. Um, you, you kind of have to. Space. You have to know how to make your own space like that. You have to make your own. No. Make sure you. I don't know. Like you get enough time in like a lot of your bedrooms sometimes. Like chill out. Maybe like watch a movie. Hang out friends. You kind of just have to find it out. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's like, honestly not that hard. Oh yeah. We yeah, all, all kind of have our own spaces. It's more difficult though. Like when we had a smaller house, house. Yeah. That was hard. We all have our own rooms now. Most of the kids do. And so it's a lot easier to have your own space because if you really need your own personal space, that's like where their safe haven is. So they just go to their rooms and chill and relax. And then when they want to come hang out, they'll just go into the family room. Don't you agree, guys? Yes. No. Bridget doesn't agree, but he doesn't have to. Chase, how do you deal with... Do you ever need personal space? I have tons of personal space. Yeah, how do you deal with Kennedy? That's rude. That's a question. What happens? Obviously, he loves what me. What do you do? Do you go to your room and now I'm trying to answer? Next Obviously, question. he loves me. We're going to be next together question. for eternity. So, next question. Anyway, next question is this is from Steph Knight 011, and it says, What is one piece of advice you would give someone who isn't confident? Chase, I'm going to have you answer this one. Because Chase is the most confident person I know. Advice to be more confident? Yep. Um. Surround yourself with positive, uplifting people, and don't be afraid to try new things and to work hard. And even though you might not do as good the first few times, to not get discouraged and to just keep trying and keep working hard, and eventually things will get better. Always have a positive mindset. Well said. I like that. Well said. Amen. Next, we have um, this one's for Sadie, and it says. For Sadie. Yeah, that's what the it's the Instagram. It's I think I think it's a oh. fan page. Oh, it's okay. okay. Um, and it says, "How is Janie doing in college?" Janie, would you like to expand on that? Well, I'm doing an essay right now, so pretty good. I Should think. we show them how many pages she has? She's been doing pretty good from what all, I've seen. All these boys have been asking her out, but she keeps saying no. She's been. That's what I was saying about being loyal. Janie is. All the boys are just having big crushes on her because look at her. She's beautiful, but she's loyal. She's loyal to Cam. This is from Lily Hansen 36 and it says, who in the car is most likely to win the, the lottery? What? Lottery? Who, who in the car is most likely to win a lottery? The lottery. Uh, I don't know because we all take risks, you know, like. Um, I'm not going to. Why? I don't, I don't gamble. 
It's, it's Jamie. It's not you. Why are you gonna uh, take? Oh, if, if like if we did. If we if did. What? Yeah, we just. Who's the most we, lucky? We all bought a ticket. We all bought a who ticket. Win? Who would win? I think Chase, cause he's the one who got pretty lucky. Chase is pretty lucky. Like he married me. I guess so. And what I'm do you think? Lucky, cause I got adopted. <laughs> Rachel did lucky. get adopted. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what I'm saying. We all got luck. Oh, if your whole family, family, I feel like Beckham would be the one to win it for some reason. Oh, oh and, and then you spend it all on like. Is it know. only in the car, or is it like in general? But it's in, it's in the car. Oh. But out of the family, I would say Beckham too. I, I think Beckham deserves to win the lottery. Beckham, but then they'd be like, Do you want to win ten million dollars or this toy draft? Next he would want the draft. toy draft. <laughs> that is true. But that's, that's okay. So or the, out of the car, though. Well, who do you think would win? Myself. Okay. You guys? Uh, me. Bridger I and Jamie? Me because I want the money. Yeah, you say All right. you gamble five seconds. I, I guess it's kind of nice for Chase and I because it's both of our money, so we have double the winning. I would donate, or it all. The I would donate all of it to charity, so you're not getting any of it. That's fine. We can, do we can donate to charity. I think that's good. That or pay for our kids' college. Ah, college. Or his med school. All right, this is a, this is a good one. This one, I think, will be a fun one. This or that, and this is from this? Kylie Rose, 2027, and it says Chipotle or Chick-fil-A? I would definitely say Chick-fil-A. 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 Yo, you guys. Uh, Bridger used to work at Chipotle. Bridger used to work at Chipotle. It is Chipotle. so good. I thought you hated it. I eat there like three days in a row. I used to eat there every lunch, and it still smacks, but then, you know, it's nice to get a break. So. I thought you didn't like Chipotle because you used to work there. No, and you didn't I like it. I loved Chipotle because I always got free food. I got free lunch. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say Chipotle, right? Wait, it could be. But look, Chick Fil A, Chipotle, like it could. It could you know, see what I'm saying? Like it could be both. You're right. a nugget. You Chick are a nugget. Chipotle. Holy, we are in. We are in some good traffic right here. You can. You can see. Hello, traffic. Lots of traffic. Almost standstill. All right. Oh, next question. Sweet. This one's for Bridger. Oh. And it's from Bree Bree uh, 1203 and it says how long did it take Bridger to get used to the family when he was adopted and how was his reaction? Bridger? Holy cow. The bat story. We only had we only had four kids at the time. No we did it. Yes we did. You were the fifth. You? Cassidy, Trey, and Janie. And then you. So we only had four kids that he had to get used to. So that was that probably was a little easier don't you think? Uh, no not really honestly. Um, Kennedy used to make us dressed up in girl clothes. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a joke. Yeah, we, that's what I got for I used to call him Regina because I we would dress him up. They would they would beg me. Bridget would always beg me. Okay, look, I look anyway. fun, okay, or whatever. It was very fun. It was very confusing. Overall, honestly, it was like it was super, super exciting just because I could like I yeah, felt like I was sister. loved. You know, like I you Aww. could feel there's a difference of not feeling love and affection and then go into a family who you do and like the family anywho we won't get into that but I I could really feel it so I was like hey I was in a good place so it was exciting it was super awesome and then honestly I wasn't even like scared or anything the first time I met Bridger it was in the airport and he like came up to me he's like this because he didn't speak English and he like pulled me it like this and I was like yeah and he grabbed my shirt and put it over my head and I was so embarrassed everyone saw my chest and I was like what probably like my little nine-year-old self, like, oh my gosh, um, yeah. So I he was a little bit of, he was a nugget, but it's fine. We love him. Yeah, thank you. We loved him before too. We were really excited to have him. Okay, next is Chili Riverland, and it says, "What are your biggest dreams?" It does not. Why you gotta get on me, bro? I'm having my food. Bridger's eating some beef jerky, and Janie's complaining about the smell. Um, Janie, what is your biggest dream? To get out of this car. Bridger not to eat jerky. Oh, really? Look, like, there you go. <laughs> okay. It's gone. Jerky's you gone just out the window. That. Yeah, because I don't want you to be upset. It's wow, what a, what a nice brother. Bridger, it's or okay. not Bridger. Uh, Chase, what's your biggest dream? Um, the six pack when I'm 126. What? A six pack when I'm 126? That, Dude. that sounds like a Chase dream. All right, Bridger, <laughs> what's your biggest dream? Um, Dude. To uh, take a dirt bike off of a cliff with the skydive with the parachute. That's and cool. Then, yes. So to die? No, it has a parachute. So who'll live? Uh, well, no, that's how I'd go out. I like that. If I, think I was that's in cool. my 90s or 80s, dude, I would definitely go off and that's be like. That's so sad. Dude. Okay, that, that, oh. Oh. <laughs> that's cool though. My biggest dream is just to have lots of 
lots of little kids and be with Chase and be done with school and have a, all of our kids running around in the yard. I'm excited for that. I just want to be a mom. Well, then I'm excited to get a girlfriend. That's my biggest dream. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> Jamie, do you have anything else to say? No, that's it. Okay. My dream came true today. Jamie's dream. <laughs> he threw his jerky out the window. Bro, it's some good jerky too, so I'm sacrificing. It shows you I love you. All right. Where do you see yourself in five to ten years? Chase. Five years, I'll be at med school. And another ten years, hopefully I'll be a doctor by then. I hope so, too. Bridger? Um, five years. I hope the things that I'm working on take off. And in ten years, I hope I have uh, at least a girlfriend and I'm successful mm -hmm. in life. That's good. JJ? Um, married in five years. Probably have kids in ten years. Okay. I don't know. What about you? For me, I would say I see myself, well, five years in med school, but I'll probably have some kids, so. You're gonna be in med school? Well, I will, but like Chase will. In five years. We're in med school together, let's be real. I want like, maybe like a few kids by then, in five years, and then 10 years, Chase will be done with school, which will be great, and just living our life, having, just being a mom. I'm really excited to be a mom. Next, let's see. This one's from Ryan Moore, one of our good friends. And it says, does Chase do the dishes without being told? Yes. Uh, uh, sometimes, yeah. Always. He's pretty good, he's pretty clean. I was surprised that he was as clean as I, he is. Because boys I heard were not very clean, but he's really clean. Okay, last one. What are your dream jobs? My dream job, to be a mother. Chase. Dream job? Yep. Dream job? Yeah. Play in the NBA. Okay. Bridger and Janie. Interior designer. Interior designer. Um, Janie's amazing at that. If you haven't seen all of our room tours, thanks. They're uh, they're great because Janie. We're making the dream a reality. Yeah. Biggest dream. Go. Yeah, I want to learn how to fly with just my bare hands. That'd be cool. He probably would make a lot of money at the circus or on YouTube. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and asking a bunch of different questions. I hope we answered some of them well. And make sure you subscribe down below. How many people actually hit the notification bell? Like, Let's find out. Hit that notification bell. And uh, follow me on all my social medias. And give this video a big thumbs up. All right, bye, guys. If you like us in Kennedy's content, give her a thumbs up. Yes. All right, bye.